Hello, my soccer universe. Milan salvage a draw at the Olympico against Lazio. However, the defensive frailties are still very much there. Fonseca surprised with the lineup. No De Hernandez, no Rafa Leao, but two new players in there as well in Fofana and in Emerson Royal. And while Lazio had more initiative at the beginning of the game, it actually was Pavlovic who had it in a Pulisic corner where Lazio goalkeeper Provedel was a little bit in no man's land. And then Milan looked in control. It was not a great game, but they looked in control. However, second half, more and more tilted towards Lazio where the defenders needed to make some last ditch saves and then Nuno Tavares two runs on the left side crosses in first one meets Tati Castellanos who really had probably slumber I felt at this moment and then just four minutes later Bulladia make it 2-1 for Lazio and Lazio fully had the momentum there was another big chance in there the game could have gotten away however then comes a quadruple substitution by Fonseca who brings on Musa, Leao, Abraham newly acquired and Teo Hernandez and the latter three combined to make it an equalizer for Milan who then seemingly had the momentum however then came the cooling break not much was happening Tati Castellanos had a great effort saved by Mignon late on, that was it. It's 2-2. Still not convinced by this new Milan team, but I guess it is work in progress still. Doesn't look good overall, if you were asking me. The last two days saw quite some remarkable Serie A action. First off, we had Inter beating Atalanta at home 4-0. A true statement win and it twiddled it early towards Inter with Jim City committing an own goal. Barella in the 10th minute making it 2-0 in the second half. Very quickly to Ram adds two more very emphatic win and Atalanta is seemingly has been found out on the same day Torino got an away win at Venezia and having a really good start to the season. Then Bologna and Empoli play out on a 1-1 draw. Lecce do get the first win against Cagliari and then in the evening Napoli looked like they're gonna be upset by Parma who led through a bonny penalty in the first half however then goal is Suzuki gets sent off and then the game tilts and in stoppage time Lukaku newly acquired is assisted by Spinazzolo to get an equal in the 92nd minute and then just four minutes later Anguissa gets a winner for Napoli much needed and maybe the good vibes are coming to Napoli except we don't know about the Osima situation right now Fiorentina having a rather disappointing start to the season I gotta say yes they come back from a 2-0 deficit against Monza at home with Juric and Daniel Maldini of all people scoring again Moise Kent pulling him back and Robin Golsens very late on getting the equalizer but you know I think it was more expected from Fiorentina Verona also stay kind of up the table getting a second win of the season a 2-0 a wave into Genoa a Genoa team that actually started quite well so far so really big win for them Juve drop points for the first time however they still have not considered a goal but Roma held them to a 0-0 draw to the credit and Udinese also get a win and they're up there in the table with the big hitters 1-0 over Como, a Como team that I have expected a bit more from as well. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!